This is a session at Hummus. It's a wave that just breaks on the inside of Wilkes and it's probably like a five minute boat ride from Namotu. I've never paid too much attention to it because it's always quite a mellow wave and it really only breaks at high tide but on this trip I got to foil it with, um, with a foil drive and it just totally changed the whole dynamics of that wave. It was insane. Um, you're getting a bit of an idea of how long it is. This is on a small day and I'm getting two to four hundred metre waves um, depending if it was a set and it was just such a cool session because the light first thing was really just illuminating the reef underneath as you can see right now and um, yeah it was just super fun like yeah, nothing nothing critical I'm not doing any mental turns or anything and I'm not trying to avoid razor sharp reef it's just a mellow wave pretty much built for foiling because you just never ends and um, just using the foil drive to just I wasn't even pumping back out or paddling at all I was literally just motoring back out no effort at all just really just making the most of what these um, these electronics are made for just riding waves One thing that is interesting is that right on the tip of the wave on the outside here, the reef's very different. It's a lot more, um, what would you say, alive, and there's way more little crevices, and it's just more intimidating. And then as you go along and you progress to this midsection of the wave, it just gets all flat rock, and there's a lot less rocks. It's, um, it's really strange, but yeah, it's um those are the two sections of the reef and this part actually just runs all the way down now on a big day i'm told you can just go for minutes on end i haven't experienced that but maybe one day um, yeah you're certainly going to run out of batteries if you keep going all the way down because that's uh it's pretty far from the very top to the very end So this is towards the end of the session when the tide had dropped. As you can see, that top section of the reef is way more alive and intimidating. And um, it just got so shallow. And one of the really interesting parts about hummus that I've learnt is that high tide is when it's best, obviously, because there's more um, room for your foil. But not only that, the actual wave itself stops breaking on low tide. It's like the, the, the higher tide allows the water and the wave energy to push up this inside of the reef because I'm actually um, totally on the inside of where Wilkes is. So yeah, it, it's really just an only a high tide wave and not only just because it's shallow and you can't get your foil through, actually because the waves get so small and stop breaking because they just lose all their energy. It's, it's quite an interesting thing. It, it happens to quite a few waves in Fiji. So there it is, another session, 
nothing uh, out of control and nothing uh, revolutionary on the performance side of things but really just showing to you how flip and fun it can be at hummus in Fiji using the four-wheel drive and um, all that gear is available for rent in the Motu and I hope you get to enjoy it yourself one day.